Hey guys, this week we are talking about series that have symbolism in them, and I do a lot of that. Like, that is the big thing that I look for when I watch an anime, um, is symbolism or social commentary, anything that kind of makes you think about it. And the one that I can think of the best is The Soul Taker. That is basically just an allegory of, of different things that are used as weapons that aren't actual weapons, like not guns or swords or things like that, like anything else that can be used as a weapon, politics or religion, things like that. Um, it's just a really interesting, uh, interesting story. And beyond the story, there's also symbolism in the way that it's animated, too. It's animated in such a way to make you feel uncomfortable because you're not supposed to feel comfortable watching The Soul Taker. They use different angles and colors as symbols to make the audience feel weird and uncomfortable and things like that. Um, other than that, I don't know, Gundam in general, there's a lot of symbolism in Gundam, but that's more social commentary than the symbolism, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so I would say that. That's what I would say. The Soul Taker is a really cool story. I'm going to put a link below to where you can buy the series. You can't, uh, sadly you can't uh, buy it or watch it legally online. Uh, it's done by Pioneer and was never picked up again beyond the Pioneer title, even when Genion took over. Um, but the DVDs are still somewhat available at Right Stuff for really cheap. And I think you guys should all check it out because it's a really cool story. They kind of take this generic story and they're able to kind of make it different in a way that makes it a really interesting story. Um, the the religion as a weapon aspect was probably the coolest piece of it, I thought. Because that's something that a lot of people are almost too afraid to ever do or talk about. So I thought that was pretty cool.